Crafty family. How are we doing today? Happy 4th of July. It is time to celebrate. Sorry, I'm just throwing stickers at you. Um, yeah, it's 4th of July and I haven't gone to bed yet. It is like 7.30 in the morning. Um, 4th of July and I never went to bed and I'm wired awake. I have not, you know, I've been up It'll be almost 20, well, yeah, it's been like 24 hours, and I'm just wide awake. Here I am, crafting, watching craft videos, making a video, uploading a video. Wait till you see. Well, you already saw it, because it's uploading now. So, <laughs> saying wait till you see. But, no, I uploaded the carousel that I made out of a, it was an altered spool swap that I did. And I made one into a carousel, and it came out freaking awesome. So, Go check that video out. It'll be the one before this one. Um, but anyway, I wanted to show you what my really sweet friend Renee sent me. Um, she knew that I didn't have any Prima stamps. And she felt that, you know, I definitely needed to have some Prima stamps in my collection. And I feel she was right. And she was just so sweet and sent me the most amazing angel kiss um, which is what we call when people send random act of kindness gifts in the mail to people in the group that I'm in, Chic Craftique. It's a swap group. There's about a thousand people in it. If you're interested in joining the group, um, put your email in the descript or in the um, comment section, and I will send you an invite because it's an invite only kind of deal. It's a very very uh, hush hush kind of group, but it's man, is it a lot of fun. And there's prizes to be won, and there's all kinds of swaps, and we do beginner swaps too, along with seasoned crafters swaps, so that everybody can get involved. It's fantastic. And anyway, I met Renee in that group. I've met a lot of really great friends in that group, and I'm thrilled, and um, I'm just having a blast, and I'm going to be joining their admin team soon, and so it's going to be so awesome. But anyway, getting back to this um my friend in that group she sent me um these stamps uh these are called prima dolls and they're by julie netting nutting sorry netting nutting jewelry julie nutting and they're prima dolls and there's all kinds of them i mean there's so many to choose from it's sickness it's, it's, there's just so many and you can go to photobella.com um, i'll put the link in the description and um, that's where she got them from, and she gave me these two. I she, she asked me to pick out, you know, two that I'd want, and I went in and I picked out these two. And let me just tell you, I mean, you can look from here and see, you know, what you can do with it. I mean, obviously, you can color it any colors you want, but, you know, it just gives you an example, which I'll actually cut that out and probably use it <laughs> because I'm crazy like that. Um, I don't waste nothing. So if I see a pretty image on a package, you bet I'm going to take it. And I'll probably keep this packaging and keep it, you know, maybe even keep it like this and make something with it or put it in a junk journal. Um, that would be fun to put this whole thing in a junk journal or something and do something under there. Because it, if you look at it, it's got, I don't know if you could see, it might be washed out from my light, but... It's got like a pretty distressing on it. I love, love, love when craft manufacturers put designs on the packaging like this where you can use it. And I think that's why they do it, honestly. because And I love when they do that because it makes it recyclable. And I'm all about recycling to have craft stuff, you know, that's just awesome. Like when I went to my doctor's office... I said to him, would you mind, um, can I have some of those popsicle sticks? He was like, yeah, take as many as you want. So I grabbed a handful of these suckers today when I, or well, it was yesterday when I was at the bank, I asked them, you know, those, those envelopes that the, they put the, your money in those long envelopes. I asked them if I can have a few extra and they gave me like 10 of them. So stuff like that, you know, it doesn't hurt to ask, you know, there is, you know, most of the time they don't care. And those little envelopes are great. You can put them in your junk journals and you know, it's just stuff like that is always great to have on hand. Anyway, back to what we're supposed to be talking about. But that's the stamp. Isn't it gorgeous? It's so big. It's seven inches. It's, it, I can't even get it all in frame, barely. 
7 inches. It's gorgeous. And obviously these are meant to color them. So that's a lot of fun. And I've learned, like, uh, I've been watching some videos and there's, like, masking techniques, which I want to learn. That's where you stamp the image on a piece of cardstock, cut it out on the cardstock, you know, and then you, when you use the stamp to stamp on, you know, what you want to stamp it on, you can make another girl standing right next to her without it, without the lines crossing by taking the image that you stamped earlier and cut out, putting that over what you just stamped. I don't know if any of this is making any sense. So let's say this is her. Let's say I stamped her on there and this is her. Okay, and this is this is the this is the um, cardstock. If I can get the words out, this is the cardstock piece that I cut out of this stamp. Okay, so then I take this stamp and I let's say on my project paper or my canvas or whatever I'm doing, I stamp her down. Okay, and then I take the mask, her, in the cardstock and I put it over top of the one I just stamped. Okay. And then if I want to do one right next to her or behind her, looking like it's behind her or something, and you don't have to do it with the same stamp. I could do it with the other doll stamps, um, but I can make it look like it's behind her without it actually going over the lines. Do you know what I'm saying? Look up masking. Look up stamps, uh, masking, and stuff like that. You'll see what I'm saying. It's pretty cool. Um, maybe I'll do a video on it. Uh, I only have one Prima doll right now that's this big and one that's this big. And I have, I think I have another doll stamp that might be kind of not, maybe not quite this big, but it might work with this. So I could probably do that where I could put like this one will be like the child because it's smaller and it looks like a child. So I can do like the child like in front of her and then do the other doll and kind of do like um, the three of them together just to play around and see. Anyway, let's get back on track. Anyway, this is what my friend Renee gave me. That one there. She's very sophisticated. So there's that one. And then there's the Party Girl set, which of course appealed to me immediately because I am the ultimate party girl. So there's this set. I just love this. I love any, like I love um, short skirts and that's what I always wear. Like the short frilly skirts. To this day, I still wear short frilly skirts. And so anything with a short frilly skirt and like cute little hair like that is going to appeal to me immediately. Um, but this one's adorable. It has like happy birthday to you, party girl, and a present. So I can make a great birthday card with this stamp set. And that's why I loved it so much. Um, and this one does not have the designer paper on the inside. Tisk tisk. But it doesn't matter. I'll probably save the packaging anyway because I'm crazy. So I think, yeah, this one on the back. Okay, so those are the stamps that she gave me. I'm so thrilled. I'll put them away later. And then she also threw in this necklace, which when it was in the package, the way it was in the package, I thought it was a piece of bling, like a large piece of bling, but it's a necklace. I don't know. Hopefully my camera is focusing. I think it is, but isn't that gorgeous? It is totally my style too. I love the choker style necklaces. I wear them the most, um, the shorter kind of choker style those are the kind of necklaces I wear the most, actually. So it was funny when she sent it to me. She doesn't know my taste in jewelry, but, you know, she sends it to me, and I was like, I opened it. First, I thought it was a piece of bling, and then when I opened it, because it was kind of coiled up a bit, so it didn't look like a necklace. Then when I found out it was a necklace, I almost, like, I was, like, freaking out. I almost peed myself when I got this package, period. And I was joking around online in the group, you know, showing a picture of the stuff that I got and saying how I almost peed myself and it became a lengthy conversation underneath of my post about how I almost peed myself. <laughs> it was pretty funny. Um, but yeah, so this necklace is fabulous. I love it. And it looks like it would be heavier weight than it is, but it's not real heavy weight, which I like because then it really doesn't feel like it's choking me. Hold on. Right, now I've now that I've talked 10 minutes about three things moving along I have these cute little paper clips that I finally 
started playing with because I'm making a pocket letter. I love the little case that it comes in, like this little plastic case. Um, but I'll show you the pocket letter I'm making real quick, just because I can. Uh, let's see, I'll start with the one that's almost done. I've got this one that I'm making, and it's almost finished. I just got a few more things to add to it. It's got the little doily pockets, which I've shown in other videos, which I'm going to stick some tags in there. Here I've got like some vintage photos and some quotes in, behind a little sh like band, like a tuck spot thing. And on this side, it's got more of the pockets and I've already put some paper clips, those paper clips I just showed you in there. And then here it's got like some, somebody uh, in another pocket letter sent me a bunch of cutouts with words and I put love always and I put that on the paper and then I put this around it. I made a flower out of some cutouts. I don't know, am I in view here? I can't tell. Where am I? There we go. Sorry. Um, and then up here I put like a little poodle cutout, a little um, cabochon uh, that I made, and a butterfly. And then over here is another butterfly and a tree that I cut out with my Cricut a long time ago. I've had that one. I'm going to put some glitter and rhinestones on it. I'm going to put some glitter all over this thing. Um, then I've got like this little chipboard piece and I've got this little one of those glass marble things I make and then I got this butterfly which I'm going to put all kinds of bling on so yeah it's really cute I got to add all my stuff to the back it's just plain right now got to add all my goodies and then I started working on this one I used all the same papers I just kind of put them in different orders and then I had some vellum uh, quotes that I've had forever and I put them in I just made up this sticker thing layered some chipboard uh, cutouts and a flower sticker and I'm gonna put it there it's upside down I'm gonna put it there um, and then I put an owl tag in the top and I made may or may not decorate the owl tag I gave I put one in the back to give her but I may or may not decorate or color that one not sure yet or at least put sparkle on it or something and I'm not done with this, so that one's a work in progress. And then this one's what it looks like blank. This is just the papers that I cut up. Um, and I got this paper at Walmart. Um, it was like a $3 6 by 6 paper pack. I got it a while ago. So I got that. That's what I'm working on right now is trying to catch up on my pocket letters. And I think the next video you see from me will likely be the giveaway video for the 400 and 500 subscriber. Um, I was not really, I was kind of hoping for a little bit more time. I didn't think I was going to reach 500 subscribers a couple of days after I had put up the video saying, we're not going to do the 400 subscriber video yet. We're going to wait till we get to 500 and do two in one. Remember that video? where <laughs> Which is only a few videos back. Literally a couple days ago, I thought I was going to have at least till the end of the week before we hit 500, but I literally hit 500 subscribers like two or three days after that. It was crazy. I don't know where y'all are coming from and how you, you know, I don't know. It's crazy. I did not ever expect to have 530 something subscribers. I think that's what I have now. I n never in my entire life this fast and I'm so appreciative I love it it's fun I am meeting so many cool people I talk to you guys in the comments some people it's moved from the comments to now we're on Facebook buddies and and you know I love it I'm so happy and I'd love to be your Facebook buddy um uh, or you can look me up on Facebook pink poodle crafts and look up that my Facebook page and check that out um, but yeah, it's been so much fun. I love meeting new people, especially crafty people. That's like the best to me. They're the best people ever. Um, but anyway, I'm done rambling. There ain't nothing else for me to say right now. Um, what I showed you in the last video is my carousel. This is what I was talking about. But if you watched the last video, you saw the kind of start to finish. I didn't like make the whole thing in the video. I just showed you like the steps and, and I would make a video as I got to another step and showed you kind of what I was doing. Um, I figured it would be way too long because it took me like five days to do this carousel. So yeah, I wasn't about to video that. <laughs> 
But like I said in that video, if you want to know how to do it and you want to make it, watch that video. If you have any questions after that, contact me. I have no problem. I'll even sit on Skype with you and show you things and help you and do the best I can so that you can make it too. Um, so anyway, I think that's it. I don't really have anything else to say. Now I'm just rambling on about nonsense and nothingness. So I hope you guys have a great 4th of July. Go shoot off some fireworks. Um, you know, just be respectful to, you know, other people's property and kids and pets and um, people in the military that might live around you that might be combat, who might be a little scared of the fireworks or it might freak them, not scared of them, but it might freak them out. So be respectful of people. That's the best thing you can do in life is be respectful of everybody and be tolerant and love everybody and don't hate anyone for any reason no matter what their lifestyle is don't be mean just be a nice person and make sure that you do what you love and love what you do and i love you guys and i will see you later i'm gonna blow you a kiss Mwah! so have a great fourth of july bye